So I haven't really prepared this as much as I should, but it's going to come from the heart. So again, I'm going to rip off Fred and ask you have permission to be vulnerable today and be a little personal and really share some stuff with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so this is...
and I haven't changed. I'm surrounded by people that love me, and I love them in return. And I started saying this every day, and I started realizing that there were people all around me that really cared about me, and I really cared about them. And just by saying this and acknowledging it, I built the connections with these people that were there the whole time. Um, finally, I'm involved in so many things that I became scattered and a little distressed about that. And here was my last line. I got this together and I like where it's going. So uh, these are my four lines and I've got them posted on my whiteboard in my room. I see them the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning, I say them out loud. I go in the shower and I say them out loud. But the big kicker for me is that when I'm driving to school and I'm by myself, I yell them, I scream them in my car. Nobody knows I'm there and saying them, but I know it. And just by yelling it out loud, you really feel it. It becomes so real to you. You say it once more before bed. So, this is what changed my life. This was the beginning of it for me. I think that everybody can do this. Our patients can benefit from it. We can benefit from it. We can tell ourselves what we want to become and then become it. And it really works that way. So you gotta build your own. Step one is imagine the best possible version of yourself without any limitations. You could be a millionaire. You could be a world traveler. You could be um, a healer, the best chiropractor in the world. Like any limitations, you don't cut yourself off. And then you write a sentence that says, that's what you are already, right now. Not, I will become a great chiropractor, but I am the great chiropractor. And even if it's not true now, it will become true just by using the current present tense. You take these affirmations, you write down in large font, you post in a visible location, somewhere that you can see every single day, because that's going to remind you to keep going through it, and saying it, and saying it, and saying it. And then you say it many times. Many, 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 many times until it becomes you and you believe it and that evolves into you, you evolve into that. And so, build your own affirmations and I'm super serious, our patients can benefit from this, but we as doctors can benefit from this. So, I got into a little bit of neurology because I'm Josh, but <laughs> look, it all comes out the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex, right in your frontal lobes. Um, this part of your brain literally becomes depressed and it's activation when you are experiencing depression. It's not firing as much as it needs to. And so then you start feeling depressed. Well, this dorsal lateral prefrontal, it fires to your sympathetic system strongly and the contralateral cerebellum strongly. So when it's depressed and it's activation, it's not working as well as it can because you have life issues that are consuming you, your sympathetics go up, you start releasing all these catecholamines your adrenals get fatigued, you feel exhausted all the time. It's integration to the contralateral cerebellum goes down, and you lose muscle tone, and you go into this defensive posture. Not just because that's how, that's how it works neurologically and muscularly. These are real phenomena that happen. So you see these people walking around like this. And how can that, with adrenal fatigue, contribute to their subluxations? Give them more subluxations. Keep the subluxations from coming back. And so, and that's why affirmations are a direct therapy and method for getting the integration in this cortex up and running again, getting your life back on track. And you start saying and feeling better, you're a happier person, this rises in its integration, your sympathetics go away, you stand up straight again, you feel better, and you become healthier. You actually become healthier. So that's how positivity really changed my life, and I now live every day like it. I learned from the past, and we look for the best parts of the worst things in our past. That was a terrible event, but what could I pull out of it? I'm closer to my family than I've ever been before. And I'm a better place than I've ever been before. And I've risen past the expectations I set for myself more than I ever have. And so I challenge all you guys, really set your own goals, set your own affirmations, say what you want to become. become. Thank you.